we can open a package, sweetie? Are we opening a package? <gasps> yes, we're opening a package. Can bunnies eat cherries? Hi. Come on. Okay, so it says that you can give a bunny cherries, but very small amounts because it's not good for their system. Do you like this, sweetie? <gasps> you do like that. Was that yummy? Was it yummy? That's all you get. Sorry. <laughs> that feels mean. Hmm? Mm. Sorry, love. Okay, so this video... It's going to be a series of video clips that I've ordered like a shit ton of books online. Ugh, I know, it's problematic. But I was thinking I do like a video where there's just separate video clips of me unboxing all these. Because obviously I'm not going to wait to unbox them. But unboxings are more fun than hauls, am I right? I taught her that she, she's learned that if she puts her paws on my hand, she gets candy. But now she's just putting her paws on everything and tries to get candy. Uh, the package from my science fiction bookstore, local science fiction bookstore back home in Gothenburg. And I ordered this because they had a campaign, or campaign, I don't know. I bought for more than a certain amount, you would get basically a free towel that says don't panic on it. So I was like, yes, I will do that. <laughs> it was like the perfect excuse. I'm going to take this off. I'm hot. Rah. Do -do 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 -do. <gasps> I see a book. What book is that? Oh, that's such a beautiful copy. I'm gagging. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, what is going on? <laughs> She's like, will you give me candy if I hold my paws here? <gasps> I love this copy. It said it was a big pocket, which is usually need like a bigger one. But this is actually quite small and it's fairly short. And now I'm super excited to read it. This is 240 pages. Author of Fever Dream. I've never read Fever Dream, but this is Little Eyes by Samantha Schweblin. I've never heard Schweblin? Schweblin. I've never heard of this book, but I just was browsing on in the video. You can check it out in the video where I when I was browsing for like books on online doing online book shopping with you guys, and I ended up not buying anything from the local science fiction bookstore, but it went a couple of days and then this campaign thing happened and oh, she's found the cherries. <laughs> You're so smart. You're too smart, sweetie. So, oh my god, sweetie. But then I ended up buying it a couple days later because of this towel towel thing. So I really hope the towel's in here. Otherwise, I will get upset. This, oh, there's another one coming. This is the eighth book in the Expand series. This is a floppy copy. My other copies are not floppy. There is another one coming coming called Uberon. It's actually a novella set in the Expanse universe. So I think the series is done after this. And I'm planning on finishing this before September for various reasons. But I'm really excited I got this. I thought I would, you know, throw it in there. I was going to get it anyways. <gasps> this is what it looks like. Okay. I had no idea. So this is Douglas Adams. Oh, there's Douglas Adams, uh, the original Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy radio script. And I thought it was a small book, but you guys, this is a big one. This is a big book. Well, this is going in my collection. It's also like extremely floppy. I love that. She's like, what are you doing? Oh, uh, it's perfect though. It has like really big text and it's written like a, yeah, like a script, obviously. So I'm excited for this. I don't know if I'm actually gonna read it. I'm probably gonna read like section of it when I feel like it's gonna be one of those books like I pick, I just pull out of my bookshelf. Then I got, awesomely, this is a big, oh my God, this is like a huge copy. I was not expecting that. That is massive. Wow, that's a huge one. This is like a children's book. Oh my God, this is the Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. So I have, who recommended this to me? I think Chloe recommended this. Ariel read a book that was written by the same author, so I ended up just getting this one, but I don't necessarily have a preference uh, of which one. Anyways, I ended up getting this one. It's actually quite short, but it's about these like tea dragons. I'm just really excited to read this graphic novel, and I'm currently trying to write my own graphic novel, so this is just perfect, like uh, getting me into the mood. And then on the bottom here, 
there is an extra package. This is the towel. It's definitely not beautiful. Oh, but it's soft. This is a soft towel. Oh my god. Oh, that is actually... I thought... It doesn't look so nice on the picture. It is probably going to not look so nice when I show you. But it's very nice quality. And I actually like these colors. It says, don't panic. And the logo of the science fiction bookstore. And on the back, it's backwards. And it says, oh, no, it's not backwards. Don't panic. So that is super cool. It's also the perfect size. And I'm really excited about it. I really love it. So that's the little book haul for now. And I'll check in with you guys once there's more books arriving. Boop, boop. All right, so we have another unboxing. This one is from Waterstones. I wasn't expecting it today. Apparently I have to stay home the whole day because there's another package arriving later. My, my thrift books package. But this is from Waterstones. And I'm so happy because I got two editions of books I've been looking for like for such a long time. It's crazy. <gasps> and they are here. Oh my God, so beautiful. Oh, that was so gorgeous. Oh, that's so nice. In case you have this, let me add this. Oh, I'll edit it. Oh. Okay, the first book that I got was Supper Club by Laura Williams. This is not how the edition looks, like I remembered it. But I've actually already listened to this on audiobook and I just loved it so much. And I also did a recreation of this cover, actually. But I just wanted my copy, own copy and I felt like I wanted to reread it at some point. It's also one of those editions that have this, which I'm really in love with. It's just really cool. It's like about these women who decide to have like a dinner club that just completely like goes out of control and it's so awesome. Then the other one that I got is this one. You might recognize this is my Dark Vanessa. It's really famous right now and it is actually blue on the inside. That is so nice. The colors of this is just everything. Also, it kind of matches my hair a little bit. But yeah, I, I know this is like a touchy story about rape and stuff and it's also... I hope so. It's a signed edition by the author. It was just like a tiny bit more expensive, so I decided to do it. Her name is Katie Elizabeth Russell, which is a nice name. These stickers, why do they put stickers on books? But yeah, those are two books that I have for now that I got from Waterstones. I hope to get to this one quite soon, and maybe I'll get another package later today. So I'll probably see you soon. Hello, <laughs> it's me again, and today I'm joined uh, by my beautiful two little rabbits. Can you move along? Because you can't really see them, actually. I'm subscribed to this bunny box called Bunnies at Lunch, and they just get so obsessed over it. And this is the first time I was able to unbox them together with the rabbits, because otherwise they are, you know, separated. But now they can slowly start to hang out, and <laughs> it was just like a really fun time. They're still, like, hyped up about all this. Um, so they're around me, but today I received two packages. They're both from Book Depository. I have ordered some books, a uh, Frankenstein book. I don't know which ones, because I ordered a few. You can watch the video where I did that in the cards. Close my computer. That was in the Discord chat. I think it's the graphic uh, novel, Frankenstein graphic novel. Is it? Is it? <gasps> yes, it is! It is the graphic novel. This is Grim, uh, Gris Grimley's Hi, buddies. These are books you're not interested. It's assembled from the original text by Mary Shelley. Uh, but who is this written by? Is it Gris Grimley? Is that a person? But yeah, I actually am really in love with the style and the artwork. I think it really, really fits the whole like the whole atmosphere. It's very off white, uh, beige and black and like grim. <laughs> See what I did there? But it also has like some texty parts and I didn't know what this was, but like flipping through it, oh, it also has black and white part. This book is amazing. What? It has so many like different sections. Wow. And they, oh, wow. Oh my, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting really excited over this. This is gorgeous. And it also has like uh, the letters that you see in Frankenstein all over it and wow sorry and oh it also has some a bit a little bit of color 
Oh, look at this picture. Isn't that just amazing? Okay, so I'm like clearly really obsessed over this and this is amazing. I'm so... Wow. Um, then we have the next package. This is a bit thicker. It's probably also something Frankenstein. Ooh, cool. Oh, the bookmarks are so cute now. What was the bookmarks for this one? Cool. These are, these are some bookmarks. They're small like comic strips about books on the bookmarks and i love that i think that is super cute oh and they also have a reader problems competition that is really cute but this is the what is it it's called a frankenstein a culture history history by susan tyler hitchcock so it's all about how like uh frankenstein has affected culture and i would thought this was going to be a picture book but it's like actual text this is like a book book which is shocking to me. I like the colors of the hardback. That's really nice. This is different than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a picture book. Like a little bit bigger than this actually. Like a picture book. The glossy images <laughs> that you can like flip through. And there would be a little bit of text about uh, the different ways that Frankenstein has affected culture. But this is, this is like a book. Wow. So I actually have to read this. <laughs> this is actual literature. I did not... I was not prepared for that. We'll see if I'll actually read it or if I'll decide to get the audiobook or if I just want it in my collection, which does sound bad, but it's also cool because this is not like, I think, a pay, like a cover to cover read. I could also just uh, flip open and start reading when I feel like it because like totally Frankenstein is one of those things where I will not have read Frankenstein for a while. I'll pick up Frankenstein, I'll start reading in the middle and I'll be like, wow. This is so interesting. Or I'll start reading like Mary Shelley's Wikipedia page and I'll just like not be able to stop. Okay, that's awesome. So these are the two books for now and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello? Hi. So this is gonna be another, wait, this is gonna be another book unboxing video. I got another rabbit. What do you know? Leo, Leo, Leo. His name is Lilo. Yeah, I got another package and I look like shit today because it was, I, I came home very late yesterday and then I watched the last episode of Little Fires Everywhere and I, I was crying throughout the entire episode. Like it was just, oh my god, I love this adaption. Please watch it. It's like, it's so relevant, but it was so good. I really feel like it had captured the book and I love the book. So for me, it was just like... A perfect hit all, all around. Um, I feel like the camera is like very crooked. Yes, it is just very crooked. So this is, by the time you see this video, I believe that the video that I'm actually doing these for will already have come up. So I'm not going to add these to my Goodreads. I'm doing a Books and Lala type video, literally copying one of her videos. But she she per permitted me to do it. She allowed me. So I will link the video. Oh, book's falling out. I will link the video where I read these books and for what reason. I basically paid someone to give me book recommendations and these are the three books that I got. I will probably be doing a reading vlog of that now, but it has already happened for you, so that's confusing, but they're very relevant. I asked for something within my wheelhouse, but still like more of what I love now rather than like the fantasy I used to love. I'm way more into a different type of reading. So I got three books and one of them is super, super, super relevant right now and that is The Deep by Rivers Solomon. So this is actually, they are genderqueer and black and I didn't know that when I got this recommendation but so it's so relevant now and I'm so happy because of pride and what's going on with the world. It's short, it's only 160 pages so I think I'm going to start with this, just get to it, excuse my face, my eyes just have so much skin around them, I don't know what happened there. We have one book that I would never normally read but I got recommended it. <coughs> Like the other two, I feel like I could read, you know? But this one, this is, I've never heard of it. An Ocean of Minutes by Thea Lim. This, what is this one about? Uh, it sounds like something I would like, but it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. So this is actually about a virus. <laughs> oh man, did you know that when you gave me the book recommendations? I want to know. Um, so this is about this virus who gets her, the main character, Polly's one true love, Frank. He gets the virus, so Polly has to work for the company who makes the treatment but she can only travel into the future to find you know the cure and she can't travel back when she is in the future uh, and she look is looking for Frank in the future he's not there and that's what the story is about I would never pay also the cover is like really not my thing but it was a recommended book based on my other things so maybe it's gonna 
maybe it's gonna be good and the last thing i asked for like a graphic novel and this is family tree i don't know specifically what prompt they recommended this one to me a little bit gritty ish kind of dark Right, it's about this eight-year-old girl who starts to turn into a tree. That's all I need to know. <laughs> so those are the three books that I'm going to box in this video, and I will see you guys in the next clip. Oh, what's that? Hi, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. I have another package here. I still have, for this video, I still have four things that I ordered that are like Frankenstein editions, I feel, of books that I haven't come and i think i'm ordering more than a month ago now but this makes me hopeful that they're still coming since i got this now and i know this is this is probably just one of the books okay cool this is the one that i ordered because of the book depository bookmark Ooh, that has a different feel than i imagined it's super floppy so this is the book that i got in the mail like you can see it's glossy which i did not expect it is not as beautiful and then there's like a black and white in the background i really don't like the back how it how the back is made like the fonts and the design of it is really messy and i don't like that but i really like this color editions or color edition i mean like the the illustration and about every chapter there's like a little thing so this one seems like it's a more adaptable version i don't know if they've changed it a bit maybe because this one is i don't know i'll just have to read it at some point and see turn the pages to me the monster that frankenstein created i am gonna guess this is not the 1818 version i don't care because the edition is cute I'm in a bit of a hurry because I need to fix a lot of stuff because I'm leaving in like half an hour. Uh, but I've got two more packages from Book Depository. I think there's more, one more on the way. And I'm gonna predict this is Frankenstein in Budapest and the Green Frankenstein edition that I got. If I remember it correct correctly. Ooh, yes. This is... Oh, we bugged out. I said Budapest, didn't I? Okay, so this is Frankenstein in Baghdad. I really like this cover. The green is like way more vibrant than I remember, but I'm super excited to read this. This is like a Frankenstein retelling. And oh my God, that spine is beautiful. And I think this is the other Frankenstein. I need to stop buying these. The thing is like I'm going away for half a year to this dance camp so i'm not gonna buy any books for that time cool it is this one this is frankenstein the cover is actually a little bit damaged like i don't know if you can see but it's like a little bit bulky and stuff the pages here so it's not like in pristine condition but i really like this cover it's like so simplistic and it feels really nice i really like that feeling so those are it for now frankenstein woo! hello again so today is the 2nd of july and i was planning and hoping to get all my books but there's still a mary shelley biography graphic novel that i haven't gotten yet but i think this is going to be the last one and i'll just post a picture of that on like instagram or something because i got a very exciting package this is the biggest book unboxing ever uh without it actually being a book because it is a kindle I am hugely attached to physical books because I love highlighting, I love dividing. Hi, Lido. Hi. She still doesn't want me to touch her. It's okay. Oh, she's been eating on my Game of Thrones books. God damn. I forgive you. <laughs> okay, this is super cool because uh, I love dividing my books into like how many days I'm planning to read it and stuff. But I'm actually, I guess I could say this now. I'm hopefully, if everything goes well with Corona and everything, planning to move to Israel for five months in the beginning of September. And then I can't bring all my books, all my clothes, everything with me. But I still want to try to read. I'm not sure I'm going to read much, if like anything at all. Kindle is the perfect thing because I'll also be living with a roommate. Kindle is great because you can read at night while the other person is sleeping if I plan to stay up longer. So I have mixed relationships with Kindles in general because it is Amazon. And I use Audible. Like I order from Amazon sometimes like most often secondhand but from Amazon. I don't want to support Amazon but just Kindles are so convenient and I don't want to do it like with my ipad i order the paper white i know there's an oasis one but it's like a thousand crowns extra for like very few benefits it's so tiny it's so small oh my god i guess i should have gotten like a cover for it you know oh my god this is like a huge step for me this is what it feels like to be in your 20s guys you give in to having a kindle ah! okay so this is the on button do i need to charge it this is like actually, oh my god, I'm so excited. Like the whole concept of like, I can watch booktube, I can be on bookstagram, someone recommends me a book and I can just pick it up, download it and start reading it straight away. Like that blows my mind, you know what I mean? Like that's just crazy to me. Wow, okay, I mean, 
I guess it's not so fun for you to watch me do this, but uh, yeah, it was fun unboxing it. It's gonna be the end of the unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoy all these like tiny boxing boxings. Hopefully the video isn't too long. I obviously haven't edited it yet. Uh, I hope you all have a really amazing day and take in all this beauty. Have a good one, y'all.